What do we got? We got something funky. Uh, we like the funk. We, we bring do. the noise. They bring the funk. Exactly. This is called the Pathfinder. You want to read a little bit Sounds about it? Sounds pretty nice. The Pathfinder Hemp and Root is a fermented and distilled hemp-based non-alcoholic spirit. In drinks, the Pathfinder behaves like a spirit and can be served in coffee, sip neat, served on the rocks, or used as the base of a cocktail. In other words, it fits right into your favorite bar or cafe, as well as it does your home bar cart. Let's see what it says on the side. For those who risk a lack of imagination, a general feeling of discombobulation, and an inclination to do the same old thing, those whose illusions are shattered and are subject to fits of peak should consume this elixir. What if your spirit is shattered? Or what is that called? I think you should consume this liquor. Oh, man. I'm I think on. that's what it's for. Yeah, uh, let me read this side. Ingenious. This ingenious spirit is fermented from hemp and carefully refined by copper pot distillation. The base liquid is then blended with an alchemy. Wormwood, angelica root, ginger, sage, juniper, saffron, orange peel, and wild crafted Douglas fir, as well as natural terpenes to yield a revolutionary spirit of both character and complexity. Hmm. Fancy. Hmm. They gave us this little card here with an eye on it, which is kind of cool. And let me, let me see what it says here. You open it up, it's got the Pathfinder. May the trails you blaze be fervently delicious. Mmm. All right, let's you know what's pour this. Now we have one cocktail on here, which is the Pathfinder Spritz. Uh-huh. And then you're making a different cocktail. No, I think that's what I'm making. You're making this one. Okay. Uh, two ounces of the Pathfinder Hemp and Root Spirit, a half ounce of lemon juice, lemon slice garnish, serve over ice in a Collins glass, and if so inclined, you can top with seltzer. Okay. I guess that's the spritz part of it. Yeah, exactly. So I'm curious to try it. Now, um, we got this from Punch Media mm -hmm. PR and our dear friend Kylie Flett. And she said that she was recently married. So they, she made, I believe she said Manhattans with this for at, mm -hmm. her, at her wedding. Sure. Said they were pretty delicious. Pretty delicious. They went over well. Cheers. Cheers. It's very dark. Ooh. Now, I think this has caramel color added. It says it on the back. Boy, that is pungent. It's, it's very dark. It almost looks like, you know, it's like, it looks like Coca-Cola, like a flat Coke. Yeah. Right? It's got that color. Like uh, bullion cubes. <sighs> so that I, is, I like this. Wow, smell. that is, that is, don't get the nose too close. I like the smell. And this has no alcohol in it. This is non-alcoholic. There's no vapors. It's all spirits. It's just all... No, it's not spirits. It's, I mean, it's, it's the spirit of the stuff. Oh, the it's spirits. Not, oh, yes. It's yes, an yes. actual spirit. You know what I'm almost getting for a second there? Just for a hint. You know, remember, remember, you know, you were a good Catholic boy. Remember the incense in church? Yeah, all that soap they burned for incense. Yeah, yeah that, that yeah, little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know what? It's, it was nasty, but I like that spell. There's something wrong with it was, you. It was, it was a good Something spell. really wrong with you. So I get a little bit of that. I get, I get like, you said there was orange peel in this, right? I get the orangey notes. I could almost get, you know, I get all the stuff they said. And maybe it's because we read the ingredients, but you can almost get that, like, piney smell. You like know, a little, of, like, a resiny piney smell. Right, and right, I, right, I, right. I do get, like, a soap smell. I'm not exactly sure Yeah. what of those ingredients were. Right. Almost like a lavender. Yeah. You know, like a little lavender smell. Yeah. Like, you know, like an like like a a nice, English, like like a nice, Yeah, like a nice bar of soap. Yeah. So. That's too nice for me to use. I just gonna, see it there. You're going to taste it? Oh, we're tasting? Yeah, oh, we're I thought we were it. just nosing before you yeah. added the, the lemon juice. No, no, no. We're going to taste it on its own first. Because that's the rule, man. Mm. I like, like it. It's a little thinner than the nose would indicate. Mm -hmm. I think it, it smells really rich. Like, I think yeah. it's a little thicker. And it tastes just like the nose. Yeah. But like it's... You, you do get all of that resiny, soapy, citrusy... I'm flavor. getting a lot of citrus. Yeah. I get a lot of citrus. Now, there is a soda, and I was telling you about this before we started... There's an Italian soda, and there's a few people that make it. It's it's called Kinoto. Kinoto is a type of orange, I believe, right. or Kino. I forget what it is, but it's it. There's an orange on the label, so it's some type of bitter orange. It's a bitter orange soda. I absolutely love it. Everybody else hates it in this house, but which is great because you got to buy things More that nobody else. Right, you got to buy things that nobody else More will food. drink or eat because otherwise you have nothing. So I love it. This reminds me of it, yeah. and I'm thinking that the spritz, if the way I have it in my head, may wind up tasting like a Kinoto. Yeah. So, um, let me go back for one more taste. I would say this is very interesting. I don't know that I'm a fan of drinking it by itself. Because mm. the, the aftertaste for me 
is thick as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Oh, it lingers. There's it a lingers. lot of flavor. And see, I, I like this. It's got like a but, little bit. It's like herbaceous, but it's not particularly. I don't think it's really bitter. But no, 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 no. It's just the the herbaceousness pithy. just comes through. It's like pithy. You're pithy. Yes, <laughs> I am pithy. So, all right, we're gonna stop here. Let me get the stuff together. We could do this cocktail real quick. Okay. And then uh, we'll be right back. Yeah. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. So it took like no time at all. Mm. It was like a, it was it was unbelievable. It was, it was like a blip on the camera. It was wow. It was it was, was it like the snap. It's, yeah. Was it the snap or the blip? I think it was uh, the little Thanos blip. So what is this called again? The Pathfinder Spritz. This is the Pathfinder Spritz, which is two ounces of the Pathfinder Help and Root Spirit, a half ounce of lemon juice, mm -hmm. a lemon sliced garnish, and then. Top it off with some seltzer. And I got I got the fever for the fever tree, so I got some fever tree. And we're gonna top it off with that. So top it off. It gives no ounces. I don't know what a top is. I guess I guess it's a spritz, glass, right? I'm gonna guess it's a spritz. Since you know, it's the spritz. A little spritz. I should probably give a stir. I suppose so. You're gonna start just so just to kind of quick stir. We got the fever tree. I do like the fever tree. Good stuff. Good stuff. And uh, wasn't our uh, dear friend Dawn Davies involved with this somehow from the Whiskey Exchange? I think she may. she helped out with the distribution or getting this thing off the ground? She may have been. Look at that. We're connected. See, that was a name drop. We know people. I just did a West Coast name drop. You did. Did you like that? West Coast would be so proud. I know. He would. All right, sir. Cheers. Cheers. So, looks pretty good. I like the way it looks. It smells all lemony. It's very lemony. Wow. That really... Uh, Dumbs down, or not dumbs down, mutes the, uh, the herbaceousness. Mm. It's a really uh, far more approachable as a cocktail. Yeah. It's like a uh, sparkling lemonade. No, it's with nice. Some I like herbals. it. That's pretty good. Now, I don't know how well I stirred it, but it looks like a lot of stuff is still on the bottom. That's good. So maybe it'll just kind of get a little more intense as you get to the bottom of the glass. That's good. But that's a nice little spritzer. Yeah, that's nice. So again, like I was saying, um, Kylie used this in Manhattan. As an Amaro? Is that yeah. what you're saying, right? Yep. And I could see doing this with maybe like a Negroni or any of those kind of drinks, you know, just substituting it yep. out for a vermouth or substituting it out for any of the, uh, you know, Amaros or Ernest or, or all that. So I like it. I think it's really good. It's getting a lot of good press and I think just rightfully so. And if you're looking for something that's non-alcoholic. Right. That has a tremendous flavor. Mm -hmm. This certainly has it. Yeah, no, it does. And, you know, usually I'm kind of like, eh. But there have been a few that, that intrigued me. This one is, I just heard about it through the, through the press release. I didn't know anything yeah. about this. But um, this one's intriguing. There's, there's also like a non-alcoholic gin that's being made out on the West Coast. It's supposed to be really, really good. I forget the name of it. But, um, you know, I mean, I'm not opposed to it if it's got some sure. flavor. Sure, sure, sure. You know, just to either, either to be maybe to cut down your usual cocktail but still get the flavor. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, I guess, you know. People are drinking non-alcoholic beers all the time. Sure. So why not drink, drink it on non-alcoholic booze? Made a cocktail. Yeah, it works. So I like it. I would give it, I mean, it's like a solid B plus, A minus. It's really yeah. good. And I could see just using it for whatever. I don't know what I'd rate it against because I haven't really done anything with this, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. It's good. So did I. Cheers so, to you. So cheers to you. Cheers to the Pathfinder and to Punch Media PR and our dear friend Kylie for sending this along. Thank you. Cheers.